After being laid up for a year, I wanted to give the loco a run, but found I couldn't start the engine. It ran briefly on its prime, and was very difficult to turn over with high compression, too much priming. Eventually there was a metallic clunk as I pulled the pull starter. I thought something had been really damaged. Since removing the engine from the loco, I found no damage with it. And when attempting to run on the test stand, it again would only run briefly on Prime. I removed the jet assembly, spray bar, from the carburetor and cleaned it in solvent. I found that the jet had been quite screwed in, more than a normal amount. Screwed out two turns is the recommended starting point. So I screwed the jet out two, two and a half turns. I like it to run rich. It pays to run rich for cooling and good smoke effects. And now the engine ran. These notes will help me remember what to do next time. I need to run the engine more. That's the silencer oil drain tube. Here's the big diesel, ready for some surgery. Bonnet off, showing the engine works. Getting into it. The speed adjustment rod, the exhaust manifold and the fuel tank are out. The engine is out, thankfully I didn't need to remove the running board. The pull starter has been removed. You can see the hex-shaped piece on the crankshaft extension that engages with the pull starter. It contains a one-way clutch. The crankshaft extension has been removed along with the carburetor. The engine is being soaked in some unused 10% nitro fuel. There was quite a bit of caster gunk on the crankshaft web. I left the engine soaking for about two weeks. Nice and warm in the hot water cylinder cupboard. Here's a package of aluminium. I bought some 100 by 6 mil flat bar and some 25 mil square to make the engine testing stand. All ready to go. The fuel tank is at the ideal height of fuel level just below the carburetor spray bar. I've got the large round muffler fitted. Cooling down after the run. That's the way to stop it. Thanks for watching.